Phil Spada. And I'm Skip. And this is the Best in Movie Show's Worst and Best Top 5 of the Summer. I'm going to give you my Top 5. He's going to give you his Top 5. I'm going to give you my Top Worst. He's going to give you his Top Worst. That's right. So, uh, at number 4, uh, my five worst movies of the summer is uh, Seth Rogen's Neighbors. I just don't see a point of it. I, I just thought it was uh, I thought it was another Animal House, another stupid stoner partying up uh, trying to be adults and have a kid kind of thing. Yeah, I kind of disagree with you there. I liked it. Uh, you probably would. <laughs> uh, at number four, we have Blended. Uh, I'm a huge Adam Sandler fan. I just did not feel this one. Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore, uh, they go to Africa and... Uh, Kevin Nealon's in this film. I just don't understand the point of it. Uh, you know, it's just... Uh, there's hardly films that I hate of Adam Sandler, and this is just... This is probably my third worst Adam Sandler film. I'm right there with you on that one, man. Uh, next one, uh, Scarlett Johansson and uh, Lucy at number three. I just didn't think that the, the, the synopsis of the film could actually happen. I know it's fantasy, but even in fantasy, it still can't happen. It's just, it's just pointless. Uh, so it's that one... Uh, at number uh, two, uh, Tom Cruise's Edge of Tomorrow. I know you're going to say, oh, it's a... Uh, but, like I say, I don't like repeating things. If you want to repeat, me and Skip will go outside, you run me over with the car, and then I can see how many times I can get to your car without you running me over. That's what the movie's about. It's just dumb. There's no point in it. Yeah, I, I thought they changed it up enough, and the comedy in it, and the action in it was interesting enough where it's not the same thing over and over. Uh, my top... Uh, my... Number one worst movie of the summer is, drumroll please, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yeah, so produced I'm by good. Michael Bay. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm a big Turtles fan from back in the 80s, and this just was just a shit on it. Yeah, I know. We, we went in in-depth about that a few weeks ago, how bad you hated that movie. I, I kind of predicted that it would be your worst movie of the summer. You really, part of the reason why that's your worst movie of the summer, let me guess, is that you really were looking forward to it and you thought it was going to be enjoyable, right? Well, I, and that's I, why Kyrie I, I went upset. into it with, with low expectations. Trepidation? Yeah. Oh, so you didn't have the expectations. I think I, I think seeing, you know, just like I saw November Man this week, I just, I think not seeing the preview is going to help me. I saw too many previews of Turn it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and that's what gave it away. Okay, all right. Well, Skip, what's your top five, top worst movies, of top five worst movies of the summer? All right, the, my five worst Movies of the summer are as follows. I could not stand. I and I'm and I'm right there with you on. Um, I didn't like Lucy. I did not like Lucy. I was really. I'm a big fan of Scarlett Johansson, and I really wanted to like this movie, but that ending was so bad. That ending was so just unbelievably stupid that it just threw me off completely in the movie. And that's the second movie this year that Scarlett Johansson's been in that I didn't like. I didn't like her under the skin. Um, I know this is a movie that a lot of people, a lot of people liked, but it was kind of like the hunger, uh, uh, Hangover for me, where the first one was just like, wow, what a revelation of a movie, what a funny movie, Jonah Hill, Channing Tatum, and then, oh my God, they did the same exact thing over again with the same stupid jokes. They just go to college. The best part of the movie is a side character that they decide to make a main character in the movie, and that's Ice Cube. That's a bad sign for a movie. And all the best scenes were in the trailer. You could see the trailer and see all the best scenes in that so movie. So number four is 20, 22 Jump Street. 22 Jump Street, yeah. I just, ah, uh, man. Now number, um, oh, God. This was a train wreck of a movie. And if you read a lot of people's reviews besides mine, it, I'm right there. They're right there with me, and that's Into the Storm. Oh, oh the you're crazy. That movie. Oh, was, you're crazy. I mean, so just unbelievable. The acting was horrible. I mean, just I. I mean, they had these comical characters in it that were like hillbillies that were filming the tornadoes and stuff. And I, I could could have did without them. They. It was like they threw those guys in there to give some laughs because they knew the rest of the people couldn't act their way out of a paper bag. Uh, I just I. If you want to see a real good storm movie, go see Twister. Go rent or get your DVD or VHS of Twister out and watch it over again. And number two is uh, If I Stay, a movie that I really was looking for. The, the reason why it's on my list of the worst movies of the summer is because I, 
I'm a big fan of Chloe Grace Moranis. This looked like it was going to be a really good movie. And, I liked it. And I thought, I know you did. I I just thought it was going to be better, and it just kind of let me down in that in that way where it's like, really, this was this bad of a movie when you when you had those expectations of it looked like it was going to be a good movie. So that's kind of why that got number two on the list. But ironically enough, the same exact movie as Vinny on his list of the worst movies of the summer is going to be my list. My number one is a movie I had a lot of expectations for and I really thought it was going to, it looked good. The trailers looked good. The graphics looked good. I just, I was like, okay, this is going to be a new updated gritty version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and it just kind of let me down. There was really a couple action scenes that I liked but, you know, Will Arnett, Meg and Fox, they just did me the wrong end. And the villain, I mean, when you, when, when you advertise it as a certain villain, um, Shredder, and then you use William Fickner as like a, a paper kind of like a, a, a human kind of uh, villain, and you have the name William Fickner in there, but then the actual villain's nobody, and nobody even knows who the villain is, but that's the name of your, your main villain, it kind of puts people off, and it put me off in the movie. Who's the villain? The Will, William Fickner character, Mr. Sachs, or the, the Shredder character, and so it kind of bothered me. I don't think anybody that saw that actually really cared about that. You know, people yeah. that actually look at the, the uh, look at the, the movie for what it is actually point that out. Yeah, and that's one of the biggest flaws of the movie. And too much Will Arnett as as the cameraman. Look, the cameraman's supposed to be behind the scenes, not one of the main guys in the movie. You know, I could see Megan Fox. She's beautiful. She's pretty. Her being in the movie a lot. I can see that. In the cartoon series, she's a main character. But not the camera guy. Too much Will Arnett. Hey, the perfect. cameraman! Not the cameraman, you know. But, yeah, that's my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, my most disappointing worst movie of the summer. Same as yours. Well, I am going to give you my top best five movies of the summer right now. All right, can't wait. At number five, I have Andrew Garfield in Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man? in Spider-Man 2. I, yeah. I liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it... Uh, Andrew Garfield played a way better role in Spider-Man than uh, Tobey Maguire. I really did. Yeah, I like uh, Andrew Garfield and and, uh, and the Amazing Spider-Man. I just wish the movies were a little bit better. Um, at number four, I put uh, if uh, if I stay. Yeah, I'm glad to see that you got that on. No, list. no, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. What if? I'm sorry. What if? What if? I'm sorry. Okay, that's what fine. If? I know you what like if? both of those movies. Yeah. I, I, what if? Um, I actually liked uh, Mr. Uh, Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe as uh, a, a, this is a real funny movie, real uh, and it, the script was done well. Uh, like my buddy Mark said today at work, there was no flaws in this script. It was all done right. Yeah, and I we I did my review. Uh, you can go to my Facebook page, Dan Skip Bound, or you can go to from the fourth row at WordPress.com. You see my review of what if or any of these movies. Now this one's gonna reviewed. surprise you. This is really good. All right, number three. I can't wait to At hear. number three, I have Boyhood. Boyhood as number three on your list of Ethan, best movies e of the year. Ethan Hawke did a fantastic job. And, uh, you know, when me and Skip were about to go to this one, I, I, I kind of, I, I was uh, looking for the long haul of boringness, but I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, you, you know how much I love that movie. Uh, and I just, yeah, I cannot say enough about uh, Boyhood. At number two, I have Transformers. Oh wow! Uh, uh, I liked uh, I liked uh, Mark Wahlberg and, and uh, Transformers Four. I thought it was a really good film. Yeah, me too. I I really like Transformers Four. I just thought it was just a little bit longer than it could have been. You know, they could have cut. It is the longest one out of the franchise. And at number one, I have those space cadets far, far from a galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy number one. Uh, best movie of the summer. Uh, the, the the most money it's ever uh, best most money it's, it's made this summer from a movie was Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, I just like how some of the characters you really couldn't tell it's them unless you read the credits. Yeah, the a lot of the makeup and the special effects in this movie really hide the fact that Lee Pace is Ronan the Accuser and Dave Bautista is Drax the Destroyer and um, and and some of those characters you know Josh Brolin is Thanos. Oh, spoiler, spoiler. Thanos is in it, and if you stay through the credits, is a Howard the Duck spotting. How come we didn't see that? Uh, we got to see the early version of Guardians, and we didn't get to see the 
post credit scenes. I'm gonna have to see it again. That's I <laughs> have to see. Well, speak Skip, what is your uh, top best five movies? Well, uh, you gonna um, I actually I'm gonna put number five. What if I'm right there with you, man? What Daniel Radcliffe is a revelation in this movie. Zoe Kazan, a another um, she's been in some other movies, but Daniel Radcliffe. Who knew he could do a romantic comedy and be believable? And if it wasn't for the script, I don't think he could be believable. The script was amazing. It made this story seem like it could happen in any day, any week, any month of the year. And that's why I really enjoyed it. Uh, you, I was enjoying the movie. I was elbowing you when we were watching it. Because, like, you know, I was enjoying it so much. But uh, number four movie uh, you and I saw back in May called Bell. Uh, I, I love my historical biopics and this is a true story of uh, Dido uh, Bell um, and it's a new actress called Gugu Mbatha-Ra. Oh Jesus. If you, if That's her name wants me to throw Yeah, up yeah. Her. She's got a uh, crazy name. It's got a really good cast and it's a true story but it has a really good message about uh, people and h how to treat people and, and what not like that because 200 years ago, 300 years ago Laws were different than today, and and and. Where do these people things, get their names, though? Uh, who knows why? How she had that name? But number three on my um, list uh, after Bell is X Men: Days of Future Past. Ah, uh, wow! This is the best X Men movie of all of them. It has everything. <clears throat> it has the old cast. It has the new cast. It has amazing Sentinels. It has Peter Dinklage as uh, one of the main villains. I mean, and then they meld the two universes together. So now we're gonna have this young cast of X-Men uh, characters go forward in, in X-Men Apocalypse, along with Hugh Jackman, because he can still play the same guy because he always looks the same, he doesn't age. But this is the best, probably one of the best comic book movies I have ever seen. Uh, number two is Vinny's number one, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I just, I, what, same thing with X-Men Days of Future Past. Just such a great cast. Just the camaraderie between the actors, everything melds. Just a farscaping space opera in the vein of Star Trek, you know, the J.J. Abrams Star Trek movies and the, uh, George Lucas's first trilogy of Star Wars movies. I just, Chris Pratt, I think this movie puts him into the, the, the scope as a leading man and the, com the comedic elements of, you know, Groot and Drax and Gamora and Rocket Raccoon. I just am so happy that they're going to do a sequel. I absolutely love this. And your number two is my number one, and that is Boyhood. Uh, I cannot say... Oh, Boyhood was my number three. Or your number three, Boyhood. I absolutely love this movie. If you watch Boyhood... You could see yourself in Boyhood. You could see your friend. You could see your mother, your father. Everybody that you know, you could see them growing up through the ages. It's just like if you had your own camera and you're filming your family and you're, you're doing your own family videos throughout the years when your kids are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years old. But we're watching these children grow up. Uh, Eller Coltrane and Lorelai Leakletter, the daughter of Richard Leakletter, the director of the movie. But really, if it wasn't for the parents being able to be such good, um, Patricia Arquette and Ethan Hawke as the parents, I think that anchors this movie and anchors the story about the ups and downs of family life, you know? And, and that's what was so groundbreaking about this movie. It was filmed over 12 years. I, I really love this movie. You don't see this kind of a, a powerhouse dramatic movie in the summer. And so that's my number one movie of the summer, Boyhood. Well, that's our top five worst and best movies of the summer. If you have a list that you want to give out to us, always put it on our, fa on our Facebook page or our website, thebestdaymovieshow.com, and we'll post all your, your, uh, your reviews or your top five worst, top five best, all that, um, and we'll go from there. Yeah, and, and, and share this. If you like this video and you want to... Share this uh, video with your friends and, and, and like and subscribe to uh, our pages because that helps us get noticed more. I'm Vincent Lespada. I'm Skip. And we'll see you at the movies.